the sap from my sore eyes. A veritable cornucopia of fat. A picture. And today, I give you the gift of immortality. Please. Allow me. studio we got here but 
what I will say is that these images, these, see, these murals, these frescoes, seems too small a word to describe them. Work painted by my son, Josiah Trelawney Jr. And by God, he did a good job. The first one is a desert. Perhaps imagine, if you will, that you are a cowboy coming back from a long trail. You make your way on your little pony across these streets, across these steps, back home to where you belong after being gone for so, so very long. Next option. Beautiful cascading waterfall. Perhaps you met your first love here or took them there to celebrate said love in an environment that conjures the temperament of said emotion but also conveys the sheer raw natural beauty of it too. Or perhaps you're feeling rural mountains, wild, the sun sets on non-deciduous trees, evergreen, like you, as they perform a silhouette against the horizon, perhaps you've been hunting, perhaps you've been camping, or perhaps you just heard the lure of the wild, and finally, Winter has done but arrived. A scene. The leaves are gone from the deciduous trees. Before you, a scheduled frame of what once was, but does not winter serve as a reminder for the return of spring. So, my friend, would you like any of these images, or would you prefer to go au naturel? Of course, it shall be done for you. Anything at all. And then some. All right, now, let me see here. How are you feeling about your clothing? You happy with your? Well, I do not blame you. You look stoic. A Greek god. Roman god. Complimented by your shape, your form. I would not change a thing. I would not, I admit it. I must, uh, whoops. I must temporarily work out your uh, height and distance from the lens of the camera. Is, is that all right with you? I will have to measure from down to the up to the heavens. So I'll be a little low now. Then I'll then go be sitting. All right. Excuse me. All right. Oh well. Would you look at this? Thou art perfect hat. A perfect hat for the trajectory of this lens and what it refracts and captures like the retina. You are a specimen, I will tell you that. Perfection personified. Men like myself could only dream to be as you. And yet, that is why I'm here as your humble servant forevermore. Or at least until 20 minutes or so after the picture is taken. Now, Distance from and to, pardon me. And as if serendipity doth strike again, the goddess Persephone looks down upon us with pride, as you immediately, unknowingly, but perhaps due to a fatalistic knowledge of what was occurring today, have stood not just in the perfect position, but at the prime height required. 
Uh, thank you. Not due to imperfection, but due to the perfectionist nature of myself. I would ask permission that I may dust your face ever so slightly, simply to uh, wipe away the trails that you have been on up until this point. It is customary for one such as yourself to look as fresh faced as possible for such an image to capture and immortalize the symbolic nature of your youth. So, may I thank you. Let me just go. Wonderful. Perfect. <sighs> Tarnation. You know, I heard a story once about a mirror that shows the owner what they would like to see in themselves. And let me tell you, if I was looking in the mirror and this, you, were my reflection, I would be a very, very happy man. Wonderful. Wonderful. I cannot quite believe it myself. Now, I must perform some unusual tests to do with the refraction thereafter of light. I hope that you do understand. Certainly, there are stranger things in what we as photographers do, but I always adjust it for my significantly large photos. Right. Let me see if I got it right. It's in. Give me a little smile. Say, do me a favor. Would you go ahead and say the word prunes, please? Thank you. This one's a doozy that I do for you. Let me just try to get the round. Yes, that is much, much clearer. Contented. Nay. Contented. I apologize for my lack of lexicon. My poor, poor, poor verbiage. Contented. How dare I? How dare I? Contented would be to as if not behold the perfection before oneself. Contented, I am enthralled. I am mighty awestruck. Awestruck down, I would say. This shall be my greatest portrait ever.
You are, of course, familiar. Here, please allow me. With uh, photograms and how they be uh, how they be working. Yes, please. Of course. And so, as I mentioned in my spiel, fifteen minutes. You will have to remain still. Now, I got a few tricks to help you stay still during that time. But it is important for the purpose of producing a perfect reproduction facsimile of your perfect form that you do that. As you can see, here we have the camera. This is the flash. I will, once we are ready, scurry my way under here sort out exactly how the picture is going to look. Once I'm contented, I'll pop my head out, clip, and bang. This will make an almighty flash right before your eyes. And that is when you must, must remain still. All right. Here is the obscure. This lens will capture your image. Beautiful, I see. Incredible technology. What I need you to do is at the first flash, either look at me or look at the lens. You understand? Now, after that, your eyes can move, and I'll help you with that. You cannot move your body. All right. Are you ready to commit to the annals of history? One of the most stunning, lifelike, and memorable images in the history of these fair. Americas. Wonderful. Wonderful. I must synchronize my stopwatch in order to accurately time how long you have remained stoic as a statue corn by Medusa. of art that would pardon my French but knock the pecker off of Michelangelo David hmm. are you ready to make art of yourself wonder bar remember at this stage look at the lens I will adjust accordingly I 
make a three pass the mark. So we have 15 to kill. Do not move. Do not move. Look at me. Don't move your head. Sit still. Here. What you can do. Twiddle your toes. Twiddle, twiddle, twiddle. Like a duck swimming about. Huh? That's right. Like a little ducky. Quack, quack. Hello, my eyes. Alright. I'm gonna hold up my finger. What you want you to do is follow it. Don't move. You gosh darn head. Alright? Follow my finger. That's it. You got it. This is gonna be a picture. A picture. A cornucopia of fire. Now, sit straight. Don't move. Wiggle your toes. Now, wiggle your fingers like that. Like you're playing the joy now. Maybe you are. smile for 15 minutes straight I sure as heck can you got a good life if you can well maybe it's but no it's easier for this craft if you do not smile all right keep looking at this now the picture will take a while to develop you understand? Y'all know who I am. Josiah Trelawney. Y'all know where I am. What I want you to do. Set yourself up a nice hotel down the road for a night. Come find me in the morning and I'll have your picture ready. Oh, you can guarantee. Huh? How would I get into photographing well that's a good question hmm. no one's ever asked me before well I knew this fella Quaker nice fella really good we used to travel around together taking photographs of people but well what can I say they weren't alive we would take photographs of crime scenes with ponies, or the rangers, marshals, whoever. That's right. My friend once took a picture of a big crime. Oh yes, bigger, bigger. Look here. Look at my finger. That's good. Don't move. And he was so proud of it. Yeah. Well. He wanted to submit it to a competition. Uh -huh. And gosh darn it, he won. I was very proud of him. Very proud. But that success, somewhat, oh well, went to his head. And all he wanted to do was find more and more gruesome, terrible imagery to take pictures of. 
then one day we were walking down the road trail following it and happened upon a man being eaten by a puma or a mountain lion I don't know anyway so my friend goes up real close like and I say to him don't go there you get killed you'll get hurt I'll back the heck away you know I don't want to get eaten by no animal anyway my friend he goes in real close real quiet but real close too close and uh, the puma or mountain lion whatever she was ripped his face clean off I believe it is one of the only instances in history where the cat killed curiosity. It's just a light in the mood somewhere. After I lost him, my friend, I, I couldn't stomach taking pictures of the dead anymore. Taking pictures of what were, not what could be. And so I made my own little camera, this one here. I named it after my friend Marty. And uh, I started to travel the country, taking pictures of fine specimens like yourself. I figure it was better to take pictures of someone while they was alive, so that that would be the memory of them, you know, rather than taking a picture of someone when, when they was dead, because I, I wouldn't want to remember Morty like that. That's why I did. All right. Never told no one that before. Hmm. Got another five minutes. Want you to follow my finger again. All right. That's it. very proud this is going to be a fine portrait I guarantee kind of makes you sleepy huh yeah that's why I recommend people go and get a hotel because gosh darn doing nothing sure feels a lot like doing a lot of something sometimes <laughs> Let's see here. Let's see, pop onto there. Have a look under the hood. Say thank you to the nice machine. Thank you, machine. Come back soon. Hook on the string here so we don't fall open. Perfect. Uh -huh. Wonderful piece of technology. No, please, shake it off.
Take a moment, shake it off. Start with your legs, stand up. Do a little chicken dance. I like to call it like this. Chicken, 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 chicken now. Shake off your feet. Now shake off your hands like that. Give them a good old stretch around. You saw the camera. Roll your shoulders. Roll your shoulders like that. Crack your neck. Whoa, crack your neck. Give you draw. Good old crack tail. Willie nose. Blink your eyes. Move your ears. Well, I can't do that. Could you? I'd like to see. There. We are uh, right there. Yet. It's been a joyous pleasure to work with you. To produce such raw elemental photography. I do not wish to win any awards. All I wish is to earn your approval for capturing you. God bless you. Now y'all go in peace. And please drop by tomorrow to collect a little piece of yourself. Josiah Trelawney, forever and forevermore, at your service. Come back soon, yeah, yeah.